Hello everyone, this is Scott of ET Database and I have something kind of interesting today. I hope uh, this is a rose on Mars. Yes, I said it correctly, a white rose on Mars. And it's been put into false color, was changed to be reddish brown because it's a red planet. Uh, however, I put it in back into normal color and as you see, uh, it does appear to be a white rose sitting out in the middle of nowhere. This is a close-up of it. And here is a faraway view of it. You can see this thing sprouting up with a white rosebud right here on the very top. And even next to it, it looks like there's a small one growing up. If you look down here, down the stem of the rose, you'll see something that looks like a semi-transparent leaf coming off to the side over here, uh, just like a regular leaf might come off of it. Now it looks like a rose. I'm calling it a rose because that's what it looks like to me. However, of course, it's on an alien planet and it's a some kind of species that's growing out of the dirt uh, over there so who knows the exact specimen this thing is it could be more animal than plant or more plant than animal or it could be um, a, a big conglomerate of uh, bacteria growing all together in one huge area breeding together let's look at this closely on the actual original gigapan it came from Okay, guys, this is the original Gigapan it came from, and uh, the information, if you want to look it up on the NASA website, is right up here. This is not the original guy uh, that I used to use before. This is a new new person who's been uploading his things, and uh, you'll see his name in the about section below the video. Uh, but it's pretty unique. He does some great stuff, and he uploads very high-quality things. Now, the rose in question is right over here where my cursor is. Do you see my cursor? In the far left side, right over here. So let's zoom in right over there. Right over here. That is it, right there. Do you see it? It's right there. Can't miss it. Okay, this is the, f the rose, the flower that I was mentioning. It's just incredibly unique and there's so many amazing things in this photo. Um, I, I think you'll find quite a few faces, statues, uh, broken fragments of uh, uh, old architecture here and there. Looks like there's a uh, some kind of pyramid structure fallen over over here. Uh, some incredible things there really are and uh, the shapes and and oddities like this and uh, this thing it looks like a horse laying down on the ground uh, and this looks like a snake or something there's so many crazy cool things in this one look at this guys look at this does this and this look like bones to you it really does it looks like some kind of bones ancient bones there's the the part there that connects and look at that it's like a scapula or something in the shoulder Wow, that is crazy cool. And this thing here almost looks like a shovel down there. There are some great things. What the heck is this? I don't know. Guys, there's just some amazing things in this Gigapan. You should really go and check it out. It has some incredible things um, that, wow, kind of neat, that you should really check out because... Um, is number one it's just fun to explore these things yourself and number two you might find the next incredible discovery i mean i found a flower in this one a flower of all things a flower that is just crazy isn't it a flower how could a flower be here but let's take a closer look at that flower okay ready all right here we are looking at a closer look at this and this is after I've changed everything, I actually uh, changed it and put it back into normal push auto levels. And this just went into this focus. OK, total different color. But you can really see that uh, the natural color of this white object growing out of the dirt with this leaf here and this rosebud shaped white rose at the end of it is kind of unique. It's really, really incredible, isn't it? Look at that, guys. And that's total natural. Now, all I did was uh, a little bit of focusing. Let's show you. Pick up and drop. 
I did this. This is a screenshot of the original. And then I decided, oh, okay, come up here and hit auto levels on Photoscape X. And what happened is it put in original colors and everything. Okay, so everything's more original. And then I thought, well, it's a little bit too white. Let's hit dehaze, add a little bit of darkness. And that helps bring out a lot of colors because there's just too much light there. And that's one of the things NASA does a lot is they add too much light on purpose to lose focus for the public. Um, I don't believe they did it here on purpose, but they have done it in other photos. So look at that, guys. This is all original, 100% amazing. This is how it really looks in real life. Now, if I try to add more dehaze, can't see it as well, but you definitely see it exists. It's there. Let's leave it right here. If I try to add sharpening, I'll lose its focus because the white becomes too white. Okay, so we lose the focus there. But still, that's kind of amazing, isn't it? A rose on Mars. 100% proof that alien plants still exist, still find ways to exist with very little oxygen on the planet. Okay, guys, Scott C. Waring, ET Database, signing out. Like and subscribe.